As a brand designer, I hate using the default settings in Windows. The font system is just so bad. And that's why my go-to app is FontBase. I've been using it for many years and it works for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And the team is constantly updating, whereas other tools I've used long in the past, they just don't update it or it's an old software. But this one's actually really good and I wanna show you how you can use it. So here is the overall UI. You've got your main menus on the left hand side, your collections, your folders, all your fonts, and then you've got the font browser on the right hand side. You can actually change the theme. So if you go to the three dots on the left, you can change the settings real quick. So I've got mine on dark, but you can change it to light if you want. But I think dark looks nicer. And you also can auto sync collections, and there's a few other settings here. You can just copy mine if you like. So I want to show you its most powerful feature, which is the super search. So you can see <laughs> I've got 12,000 fonts, which is crazy. No wonder my computer lags all the time because I've got too many fonts. So uh, you can see I'm in all fonts. I can scroll through and you can see I've just has, I just have so many fonts. It's crazy. Um, we've got recents. I've got some favorites uh, as well. And I've got the 6,000 activated, as you can see with the green little dot here. And I've got about 5,000 inactive. Um, because I don't want to keep everything activated because it just will make your computer slow every time you load up Photoshop or Illustrator because it has to load the previews for all the fonts. So to go into Super Search, I'm going to go to the left-hand side and click on the lightning bolt and it'll bring up this tab here and we can actually filter by tags and different um, categories. So we can filter by low contrast, we can do normal weight, heavy weight, you can do average proportions, you can do X height, uh, even high contrast. So maybe you want to find like an elegant font, I can click on high contrast. And then maybe I want like classic and you can see it's found Garamond and Trajan Pro classics there. And I can click view family and I can see the fonts. And the good thing about font base, it auto tags for you. You can also add custom tags as well. So I can right click, click manage tags and I can call this like Roman because Trajan Pro has a Roman feel. And I can click um, enter and it will add that tag. And then you can see that for the Trajan Pro regular, it's got the Roman. So now if I go to my tag section, uh, it should be there as you can see. So uh, if I go back, let's just say we're searching the fonts and I click Roman, it should pop up in there, but let me just turn the high contrast off. And there we got the Trajan Pro, which is cool. Um, let's do another search. Let's click maybe heavyweight and maybe I want like sans fonts. Maybe we want bold, maybe we want clean as well. And we've got a few here. We've got Algera Sans and Monster App, which is cool. So we can scroll through that. I can also increase the size by grabbing this bar here. So if you can select the font, you can see it goes purple. If you want to see all the fonts, you can just unselect it as well and you can scale everything up. So if I want to go to all fonts. Now, if you do want to check other fonts, you can turn the tags off. You just left click once and I can turn off the tags. You've also got charts at the bottom. So if I'm searching for a specific style or detail, I can do weight. I can just left click and drag and search. It will give me all the fonts based on these characteristics here. And it's got like a little slider with some decimals. And so it's found all these fonts here. I can increase the cut size. If I want to change alignment, I can click center align if I, that's better, which is super cool. And then I can click reset button here, the little arrow that goes backwards to reset all those parameters. So you have full control. You can literally search anything you want. We can do geometric, we do futuristic, which you can see here. And if I want to activate a font, all I got to do is click the little circle on the left and it'll activate it. To deactivate, I can click the green button and it'll deactivate, so easy. And if you want to delete it from your actual computer, you can right click and click delete from disk. That's always an option. So if you want to <laughs> cull your fonts, you can do that. So Super Search is very powerful. Um, I always use it when I'm looking for a specific font or a brand that I want to look like or I want to get that I can do that. You can also change the color of the fonts. If you click this little square here, you can change it red, blue, whatever. You get the background, you can change as well. So you have full control over all that, uh, which is really, really cool. And we can just go back. Now, what if I'm searching for a font that has glyphs that I specifically want? Maybe I'm doing like a trademark or I need a copyright symbol. You can actually go to search a font. So let's just say we want, um, let's type in fig tree. I've got this font here. I can left click on view family here. And you can see, you can see all the styles. So you can, we've got the different weights, light, bold, regular. You can actually turn off um, any weight you want. So you can deactivate, maybe you don't want the italics, you can all deactivate all that. You can also um, pin or favorite your font. So if you click the little love heart, let's say I like um, fig tree regular, that will be added to my favorites on the left-hand side, as you can see. And if you pin a font, then if you're in all fonts, it will show up up the very top, as you can see here, fig tree regular. Um, you can see I've got the life heart and the pin, which is really cool. So let's go back to the family. I can click on glyphs and I can see everything that it has. And if I want to use, say, the copyright symbol, I'll just click copy, click on it, left click once, um, and I'll go to Illustrator and press paste. 
and you can see it's got the copyright symbol right here. Maybe you want to go to a different font. Let's say maybe let's find a serif font. Let's say we find this other font here and maybe I want like the ad symbol. I can left click once to copy that and go into Illustrator and paste that in. And you can see it's pasted that glyph just like this, which is super cool. So we can see all the glyphs that the font has and this is just great. You can also click waterfall as well to see the font in uh, a multi-layered waterfall approach. So if I want to see regular and you can see it at different sizes. So most likely you'll have like a small size where paragraph and headlines will be bolder. So it's, it's a good way to see what it looks like. Now, if you wanted to play around with different layouts and test fonts, say for a website or a design you're gonna make, then the font playground is perfect for this. You can actually set two separate fonts. You've got font A and font B on the left-hand side. So let's go geometric for font A, we'll go uh, extra bold. And then font B, we'll pick something else. Uh, let's just go with something a bit different. Cool, so we got font A and font B. Then we can go on the left-hand side and you can see you can select on the individual um, sections and you can uh, see what font it's using. Then on the left-hand side, you can see what um, it's actually doing. So we can say use font B or use font A and you can see it actually swaps it out, which is cool. And then you can actually play around with the font sizing, the line height, and it will make those adjustments on the fly. You can also add custom padding here, as you can see. So it will adjust the padding Maybe you want to go like 45, you can do that as well. If you just click off that H1 there, um, it'll take you to the main section and we can adjust the font size for everything. You can also adjust the line height for everything as well, but it will affect basically everything. Uh, and then you can also do max width as well. So if you want to see it more, uh, increase the width a little bit more, we can do that. And the cool thing is you can actually copy all the CSS. So once you have a style that you like, you can just click copy and then you can go into Webflow or Framer and paste uh, the CSS code and it'll apply those text styles to your website. So maybe we want the, this header to be like really big and then this one, we can adjust the line height. And then for this one, we can do like 1M, which is like 16 pixels. Maybe we adjust it like that. Uh, which is really cool. And then we can always go and switch out the fonts on the fly. So maybe you want to test something else out. We can do that. I want to do a condensed one. We want to change the heading and do like something else. And you can scroll through and just see all the previews. It's just a good quick way to play around with fonts and see what it looks like on the screen. Now, one of my favorite features that I use all the time is auto activate fonts. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a watch folder. Bottom left, click add, click watch folder and you can see we've got a font folders from 2020 to all the way to 2025 and even 2026, I can put some fonts in here. So let's just say 2026, I'm gonna select this folder and now it will add that into my folder section. And we can see we have no fonts in there. So what I will do is I'm gonna go add some fonts into that 2026 folder. So I'm gonna copy and paste that in to my folder there. And whenever you drag a new font, it will auto activate those fonts and you can see it's all green and now I have all those fonts. Let's say I wanna add some other fonts in, in there. I'm gonna go back to my folders. I'm gonna go select some of these fonts, copy, paste it in. And now let's just wait and it should auto activate that. Boom, and there we go. We've got the fonts auto activating just perfectly. Make sure you auto activate on. You can always right click and disable it. So it won't auto activate fonts, but I always have it on because I think it's just a great tool. You can also activate fonts from Dropbox or Google. It also syncs with Google fonts as you can uh, see here. So if you have other providers, you can add that in. What you can actually do is have collections. If you have different projects, different clients, I've got a few collections here. So for example, I've got a, one of my clients, Paul, they got free fonts, DM Sans, Jeffica, and Nimbus. If I have, I've got collection for trial fonts that I'm just playing around with before I buy them. I've got a new one that I'm working on and this one has Clash Display. Let's just say VEP, this one, I'm gonna go to Illustrator and I was working on this brand the other day and what I'm using is General Sans. So you can see General Sans Semi Bold and Regular. So what I can actually do, go back to Font Base and I'm gonna type in General Sans. Let's go to first click on All find this and I can left click and drag it and just boom, pop it into the collections. And now I can see that font is deactivated. Let's just say my project's done, the clients paid the invoice. All I gotta do is just deactivate and now that font's deactivated, I don't need to use it anymore. Maybe I wanna change the grid as well. You can do that. So you see this little button here, I can change to grid view. And then if I wanna see fonts, it will show me the A letter, which is super cool. So I can see the styles. This is the fastest way you can do it because you know, if you've got so many fonts and you're trying to pick one for a client, it, you want to minimize the time. So overall, I love font base. It's really great. For me, it's helped my process so much and it's only $3 a month. So it's affordable. It's not like 20 bucks a month, like most softwares out there. Um, so if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description below and 
give it a go. If you're a full-time designer or just want freelancer, this is the, probably the, one of the best on softwares out there that's actually updated and has useful tools. You can also use my discount code, Jeremy, for a nice little discount. Hope you enjoy it. If you want to see some other calls that help you with your fonts in Illustrator, then you can check out this video right here.